Yo guys, what is going on? Bobby here and today we got a really cool video for you guys So today we're gonna be teaching you guys how to win the PSG Cup So what is the PSG Cup? I'm sure all of you guys know about it, but let's just cover it really quickly So the PSG Cup is a series hosted by PSG and Supercell So the premise is win nine Brawl Ball matches and you get a free PSG Shelly skin Which does cost gems. You're getting a, a skin that costs real actual money for free so you play with friends and basically you have 48 hours you get nine games that you have to win you can have four losses during the set once you hit four losses you automatically lose and you do not get the skin for free but if you can get the nine wins you end up getting the skin for, for free so what there is is there's three different maps there is backyard bowl super stadium and penalty kick so I'm going to show you guys two comps for every single map you guys can play what you're more comfortable with I'm going to show you guys how to use the comps what to use and show you guys how to win this PSG Cup and get a free skin. So with that being said, let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what to do. Okay, so here we go into the first game and we're going to be playing as Gene, Ems, and Tara. So why are we playing with these brawlers? Because these brawlers are just like absolutely broken here. Now, I don't know if you guys have gadgets um, or if they're going to be or if everyone's going to get them in the PSG Cup. But it doesn't really change this comp. This comp is really OP because of how open the mid is. Now, you don't want to use people that are too, too ranged. I'm going to use the gadget just for fun, but there's really, like, no use in it on this map. Um, you're basically just holding good control. You're holding down the mid, and you have two wall breakers in Gene and uh, Tara that can actually break walls. So Sandy's going to fall asleep over there, use her gadget. So we're just chilling over here. As you guys can see, we have really good control. We do have our Tara Super as well, so we're going to go for a double pull. We're actually going to end up getting a triple. We're going to be able to get the kills, and we're going to move forward. So why is this comp so good, you ask? It's because of the range that we have. So these are all mid-tier, like mid-range brawlers. And if you guys can see, the two boxes that are separated are basically the range of our brawlers' um, attacks. So it's actually really strong. Um, Ems obviously does really good damage. Gene is Gene. Gene is an absolute god. And then Tara, you guys already know, is probably the best brawl ball brawler in the game. So Ali's doing a really good job at holding down the side. Um, going to super over here. Going to be able to pick up that kill. We're not too sure where their third is. Okay, there he is. Tomo's going to go for a slick move. He's not going to be able to score there. I'm going to try and charge my super. Going to get a couple shots off. Going to use my gadget. Got hit by that. I'm going to be able to get a kill, but I'm going to go down. So anyways, this is a really good comp. We're obviously facing really good players. We are in a private room right now. Because, um, you know, obviously all three of these Brawl Ball maps aren't going to be out on the same day. So we do have to get this room going if we want to play all the maps. We do have a bunch of really good players here. So I'm going to use my super. Going to be able to solo suck that Tara. Again, don't be afraid to go for solo sucks. They are good. They do have really good value. So anyways, we're doing a really good job here at holding position. Um, we're just going to be chilling in the middle. They haven't really had a good chance to score on us yet. Going to be able to pick up another kill there. Ali's going to go and pick up the ball. Hopefully she brings it up fast. It looks like Toma's going to spawn it in time. She throws it off a wall. I'm going to try and help t uh, pinch that Tara over there. We are one shot. We don't even need to do anything really. We're just going to hold position. We're going to solo pull Toma. Try not to let him get much HP. And again, you guys saw we didn't get much use out of the gadgets. So there, if, if there is no gadgets, don't even worry about it. Ems and Jean do have really good gadgets, but we're not going to get much use out of ours over there. That was actually a really good play by Ali, but she wasn't able to score it because there just wasn't enough time. So it's going to be the first comp I have for you guys. Let's hop into the second game. We're going to go over a little bit more of a ranged comp, something that if you're high skill and you can hit shots from, at, from a really good distance is going to be really good for you guys. So let's hop into the next game and let's show you guys what we got. Okay, so here we go into the next game. And what we're going to have is a tank heal comp. Now, I know I said a ranged comp, but this one actually is going to be a little bit better. So it's going to be basically what I think the new meta is going to be. So it's going to move up here. You guys can see Ali completely dominating her lane. Really well played so far. Going to give them a heal, even though they don't really need it. And we're going to be able to get an easy goal here. So I'm just going to pass the ball over to Dill. Ali's going to get it and put it right in the net. Again, it's really easy. God tier comp. Um, you don't really need the star powers for it. Or sorry, not the star powers, the gadgets, but obviously they are useful. Gonna use mine over here. Just walking up, absolutely dominating. You guys know and see how overpowered this comp is. Gonna use my heal. Gonna just put that, oh, not gonna put it in there. But it doesn't matter since we have this god comp. A lot of auto aim looks like over here by our teammates. Again though, way too much heal for them to even deal with. Like they just can't do anything. 
The heal is just way too toxic. Everyone's getting it. Gonna use my start or my gadget again. The auto aim spam is real right now. Everyone is just popping off. But you guys can see we're in front of their net literally the entire time. This is a broken combo. I would highly recommend it. Obviously, Decapo is really good for it. So if you have a teammate that has Decapo star power, please make sure that he is the one playing Poco because that's gonna help your count a comp a tremendous amount. So we're just chilling over here. Ali's gonna speed up. Trying to score there, not able to. Ali's gonna go for a play. She gets Tara pulled while going for a play. This game is very hectic, but this comp is, in my opinion, the best comp when it comes to just putting on crazy, crazy pressure. You guys see, they just hit our half of the map. But now they do have pretty good control, so this is a little bit scary. Gonna heal our teammate over there. This Tara is getting a bunch of heals, which is pretty toxic. Um, they're gonna try and go for a play. Good pull over there by Ali, but she's not able to do anything from it. And Dylan is on the run over there. He should be able to score as long as Toma doesn't gene pull him. So we're gonna see what happens. Um, but it looks like he, there was a gene pull. I don't know what's happening up there right now. We're gonna be walking up. Some Tara spinning. I think they know that this game is just about over. Oh, the ball is on the line. That's toxic. Rip our goal. But again, you guys can see this comp is absolutely broken. There's no way a team can just walk through this comp unless they were using the comp that I showed you guys in the previous match. There is no way that they are winning. This is the broken comp in my opinion. So with that being said, those are the two comps for Backyard Bowl that I would suggest. Two very broken comps. Go ahead, use them. Um, they're very broken. So with that being said, we're going to hop into the next game and we're going to show you guys on the next map what another broken comp is. Okay, so here we go into the next game now. It's going to be on, on um, what's this map called again? Penalty Kick. So here we go into the first game. So it's going to be a very similar comp, but instead of Poco, we're going to have Sandy. Sandy's probably the best brawler on this map over here. Oh, if Ellie passed that, that probably wouldn't have been a goal. Whatever, we have this Mr. P trapped. Going to use our super over here. Toma probably has got no clue what's going on. Gonna put the ball back, pass it to Dill. So we do have our gadget, but I don't think we need to use it yet. Actually, we can just use it over here. Gonna get full HP. Gonna run up to Toma, try and get our super. Not gonna be able to. Gonna have to definitely take this out because this is very strong. Gonna try moving up, not gonna be able to. So this comp has really good mid control, really good offensive pressure as well. So again, using this comp is very broken. They're using a very similar comp, so it isn't. It might be a little bit of a tough win, but I'm sure we're gonna be able to figure it out. So we do have this Poco kind of trapped over here. Fortunately, we're not able to kill it, but we do have a really good spawn trap going at the moment. Gonna get some shots off halfway to my super. Ali unfortunately is gonna miss our super, but that's fine. Trying to take out the Poco, but I haven't really gotten a good peek. Ali's doing a really good job over here. I'm going to be able to take out this Poco, and Dill should be able just to walk it in. So hopefully he doesn't trick shot. He's going to walk it in, and that's going to be our first goal. So as we spawn, we're going to wait a little bit because we don't want to waste any seconds on our super. We're going to throw it right in the middle. So now that everyone's here, we're going to toss that in the middle, and we're doing damage. We're doing a really good job with it. Ali's going to get pulled. She's going to go off over there and run. Dylan's going to try and make a move on the right side. He's doing really good. He picks up his super. He's going to pick that up. Is he going to get the goal? He's not going to be able to. We're going to be able to get a double kill over there. And oh, we almost supered it in. Really good shots by that Mr. P to not allow us to do that. But Ali's running up. She's doing a fantastic job. We're doing a really good job as the team. Now, Jackie does have a really good gadget. So I would definitely recommend um, using that gadget as much as you can. But the other two doesn't really matter. So we're able to get our super there again. So we're just going to plop that down. So we have two Sandy supers actually right now, which obviously is really lethal. These guys can't regen their HP. Trying to get some shots off. Only 12 seconds left. They shouldn't be able to score. Nine, eight, seven. Ali's doing a fantastic job over there. Um, we're going to be able to get that kill. And that is going to be the game. So it's a really good comp. I'd really suggest using that comp on this map when you guys do get into the PSG Cup. Anyways, let's hop into the second game. Let's show you guys the second comp that we have here. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we go into the second game here. And we're going to be going with a kind of similar comp. Not really, but we're going to have a Rosa. We're going to have a Nita and a Barley. Now, I would recommend this comp if we have um, gadgets. Just because the gadgets for Barley and Nita are very OP as well for Rosa. But um, 
if you don't have gadgets i would definitely recommend using the first comp we're gonna be able oh we're not gonna be able to take out toma there actually so rosa's gadget is really good obviously putting the grass in the mid or wherever you want that's really gonna help rosa out nita's is also crazy good i really like nita's uh we're gonna be able to pick up a kill there kind of trapped over here by toma gonna throw that down stun toma with the bear and be able to get that kill like it's just a really good star power really crazy effective d bear is gonna go in over there he's gonna do a really good job on this uh on what's his brother's name again jackie um really good play over here by ali you guys can see the walls and you guys can just see how lethal a barley would be on this map it's very easy you don't really have to explain it um dylan's gonna kind of mess up that goal over there but it doesn't matter because he's just gonna pick up the ball put it in the net and that's gonna be our first goal so we still have two gadgets left things are looking really good at this point gonna throw our bear to the right of us and we're just gonna move forward over here and try and get another bear while that one moves up gonna use our stun it's gonna be able to kill that jackie gonna throw the ball up or kill their Rosa, sorry, not their Jackie. Gonna throw the ball up. Dylan's doing a great job. He's gonna pop super. Just waiting for him to pop super. Gonna put the ball over there. Gonna use my bear. Gonna stun that Rosa. Gonna be able to get a few shots off. Ali's doing a fantastic job over there. I'm gonna have to run away because of this Jackie. Dylan doing a great job. Toma is two shots. We just gotta get Toma out of here. Gonna give the ball to this rosa so she can't do anything so now what we're gonna do is move up throw our bear down really good damage being done by the bear running back here trying to get some damage off doing pretty well at just holding positioning over here and you guys can see just how good this comp is at holding position even facing three really good brawlers in rosa daryl or rosa jackie and rico they still can't really do anything dylan doing a really good job over there i'm gonna use my shots we should be able to put this one in the net. We're gonna try and squeeze it in. Toma's gonna say no you. Hopefully this Rosa passes us the ball and we trick shot. No, we're not gonna be able to trick shot, but that is going to be the game. Absolute domination right there. Went really well, and that's gonna be our two comps for penalty kick. So the last map we have is triple dribble. This one is a very diverse map. A lot of different comps that you can run here. So let's hop into that and let's show you guys the two best comps for triple dribble. Okay, so here we go into the final map, which is going to be Triple Dribble. And what we're going to be doing is a very similar comp to stuff we've been doing before. So we're going to go Double Tank and Gene. Now, Gene is probably the best brawler on this map. Really good. Daryl also being one of the best brawlers on this map. Ali's going to pick up the ball over there and try and make a play. Unfortunately, it's not going to work out. But I think she's going to be able to pass it up to me here. I'm going to be able to slide that into the net. We're going to charge our super. That's going to be a really quick goal. So there's a lot of walls here. And it's very close quarters. So using Double Tank is definitely a strategy that you guys want to use on this map. Going to roll right on to Toma. We actually hit him with the double stun there. We did not want to get hit. We're all going to juke that super over there. And we're just going to walk this forward. No way they're going to be able to stop this. Oh, I was going to pass it to uh, Ali. Doesn't matter. You guys saw just how broken this comp is. So I would consider using this comp. Very good comp. Absolutely broken. I would 100% recommend using it. Let's hop into the second game and show you guys the final comp that we're going to have for triple dribble and for this video. Okay, so here we go into the final game here. What we're going to have is a control-based comp. So you guys first saw a tar or a tank-based comp where you guys can rush in and win a game really quick. But this is far more control-based. So you guys can see that we have a Barley, a Gene, and a Nito. So this is kind of just slowly working your way up and gaining position. So we're going to try and get onto this Barley here. We're not going to be able to hit it. We're going to try and pinch Toma over there. Um, but basically, we're just going to slowly, slowly work our way up. Their comp is actually very similar, except they have a Shelly instead of a uh, instead of a Gene. I would still recommend playing Gene, though. Toma's kind of just a god Shelly. You all know this. Toma, the best Shelly in the world. So obviously, Toma's going to Shelly when he can. So we're going to move up over here. Um, tie game still. Again, this is going to take a while for us to get position. It's all about positioning. It's not about fast wins. Dylan going to miss his super by about six tiles over there. Um, and we're going to try moving up. Uh, probably should help over here. Really good use of the gadget. Oh, but they're still going to score. And I'm actually going to waste a bear. So Ali's going to let that one slide in. Dylan's, Dylan's going to have super. So it's very important that Gene does try and hit supers as much as possible. Obviously, we don't want to pull this Shelly. So Dylan's going to end up pulling that Nita. Good play over there by Dill. We have this Shelly over here that we should be pinching. Oh, really good gadget use over there by Toma. He's going to spin on me. He's probably going to make a sick edit for that. Okay, Toma. Good stuff. Congrats on your kill. But anyways, we're going to move up. Uh, Toma's going to have super. He's going to be two shot. He's going to move forward. Uh, he's not going to be able to get a kill. He's actually going to go down. So we got to work our way up here. 
we're going to be able to kill the Nita. So hopefully that's a waste of bear and no gadget will be used, which is actually really good. We're going to try and stun Toma over here and trap him. So wherever we go, he's going to kind of get pushed back. So we're going to throw this bear out, click the stun, get some free shots off on this Nita. That's going to be a free kill for us. Dylan's going to miss his pull. Things are looking pretty good for us though. Ball is going to be pushed up. We have them in a really, really good position for us. So hopefully we can actually end up getting a goal here. Good kill over there by Dylan. Oh, great play by Dylan. Oh, he's not able to get the goal. How did Toma not die? Toma was in there for so long. That was a really good play by Dylan. I thought he had it. He's not going to be able to. So 18 seconds left. 17, 16, 15. Things are looking pretty good over here for them. Um, we're probably going to get stunned. Yeah, we're going to get stunned. And that's going to be game. So even though we lost, we're facing a really good team. Please remember that. Um, this is a really good comp. I'd consider using it because a lot of people don't have Jackie. This is the best comp, even though we lost. Again, you guys can see we're facing a really good team that played a really similar comp. Just instead of Gene, they used a God Shelly. So basically just work around Nita and Barley because it's going to be really good. But anyways, that's going to end the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And again, I try and teach you guys as much as possible. So I hope you guys do end up doing really well on the in the PSG Cup. I hope you all win and get that free skin. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's going to be it for the video for today. I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. I will see you guys then. Peace.